Checking in our space is no hint now that I'm not alone in you or around in the hand for the nine places all lined up while I'm stumbling round with a spilling cup singing this in another way that I am knowing that the love can stay in the out down by the water singing all songs my love Going down. Cuffed up in my ways, and I know you, but I know myself like I know you too. And I see a lot of faces just like ours, and they're going fast and they're speeding. Welcome back to another YouTube video. I'm super excited to be vlogging for you guys today. It is Saturday and I'm going to do a little weekend vlog at home. So this week I actually already filmed a video. I filmed a what I eat in a day which is going to go up this coming week. So there'll be another video up very soon. Autumn is just the best in New England and in the East Coast. I'm just so happy that it's fall and I wanna get all the home vlogs in. While I'm here and I really, really enjoy these videos, they're really fun to make and I just really enjoy them. I just personally like watching chill home cozy content just like long format relaxing content so i've been trying to be really consistent about uploading the vlogs that are my personal favorite so that's why we're here again for another weekend vlog so today i'm just hanging out i have some errands to do i just had a little relaxing morning by myself but i have some friends coming over so now i'm just gonna pick my outfit for the day it is raining a little bit. I feel like every time I vlog at home, it's raining. It's been a bit of a rainy fall, um, but it is raining today. I kind of wanted to wear a long sleeve shirt with a vest and then probably just like a casual denim, maybe even leggings. Hmm. Okay, one second. Has anyone figured out how to put tight tops on without getting your makeup? Oliver, I I have not figured it out. Oh, and especially with a slick back. Um. Okay, just put on this shirt from Adenola. The only stuff I have from this activewear brand is from my brand deal that I did with them, and the stuff is so cute. I did get makeup all over the shirt. got these two mugs from Terrain and then these dried hydrangeas that I thought would be really cute for fall. The girls. Slick back girlies. Slick back girlies. I have a hot take. I have what? a side note. I'm scared. I'm scared. What if we like went out in Fairfield? No. No. I the think, sea grape? Well, I unfortunately blew my candle out pretty hard living in New York City, <laughs> but get your bag. <laughs> <laughs> this just changed the plan. We are going to buy this and do this because this sounds like the best idea ever. Okay, 
I'm nervous. <laughs> wow. Is this anything unlike anything you've ever had? It's really good. Let's get in here. That is a thick. Yeah. Anna doesn't like it. <laughs> okay, I'm just happy. <laughs> Olivia just looked at me. She's like, "What the fuck are you gonna say?" Wait, give me. I know she was gonna say, "Wow." Give me your Olivia, notes on you it. You won the bake off. It's giving like mine. It's giving candle. Like, okay. It's giving tastes like candle. I think you just don't like fall. <laughs> I think you don't like pumpkin spice. <laughs> it smells really good, like a candle. I'm gonna call Tommy and see what he thinks of my PJs. There she is. They're cute. They're very winter vibey. You like them? What you been doing? Yeah, I like them. I've They're been, cute. I've been hanging with the girls. We made fondue. Fondue looked fucking fire. Yeah, the fondue was so yeah. good. Uh, my morning has been pretty good. Just got some breakfast with the guys, and then just got back to the room. And Billy's won. The Dodgers are getting their ass whooped, and um. Just playing the guitar a little bit. Nice, Bean. Say goodnight to the vlog. See ya, vlog. I'm running late. <laughs> How late? Uh, one minute, but like I'm, I'm, you know, I'm punctual. Usually, my team is depending on me to be on time. What time is it there? It's, it's like the morning there. <laughs> Good morning vlog, happy Sunday. I just put on a little outfit from Brandy. This is the outfit that I got yesterday. We are about to run out and grab pop-up bagels this morning. Okay guys, I got a new pair of sunglasses. I really like them. They're from Bonnie and Clyde. Bag has been secured. Bagging the rest of the bagels, freezing them, and then you can kind of pull them out individually and eat them. Okay, we're gonna be doing a Q and A. We decided. When are we gonna do that? Tonight. Okay. We're heading to the barn now, and we're gonna hang, and then we're gonna make dinner. I think we're gonna make chicken dumpling. bought this cheese yesterday when we were at the cheese shop to do the fondue and it's called Schneedlehorn but we don't know if that's actually true comment if you don't think it's Schneedlehorn it's not Schneedlehorn <laughs> what is it? <laughs> did you get Schneedle? <sighs> wait what did you say? Schneebel pretty close <laughs> wait let me look it up this is the best cheese I've had in a while. Schneebelhorn. That was right. Schneebelhorn. Yep, it was raw cow's milk with notes of garlic. That adds up. I'm gonna clean up the kitchen a little bit and then we're gonna get started on dinner. I think my parents are coming for dinner. We're making chicken stew kind of with um, dumplings, which are basically just biscuits, and then I'm gonna do a cucumber salad that's actually like more Asian inspired. <laughs>
what I'm making. What are you making? Guess. Mm. By looking at this, what do you think? <laughs> Is it for dessert? No. Starts with a B. It starts with a B. Ends with biscuit. Biscuits? <laughs> yeah, ends with biscuit. <laughs> <laughs> I decided that I wanted to end this weekend vlog with a little Q&A. Amanda and I used to do these <laughs> back in the day. I don't know if I've archived them or not, but okay guys, if you don't know who Amanda is, Amanda is my oldest best friend from my Aww. hometown. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Are you scared? <laughs> what was the most unexpected compliment you've ever received? <laughs> Unexpected compliment? Yeah. I don't know, you go first. No, you go first. <laughs> okay, can we come back to that? People or saying I have nice hair because I have fried my hair off into oblivion. Mm -hmm. Like, like I, I do naturally have nice hair, yeah. but my, my blonde has been fried mm -hmm. to the core for four years. Mm -hmm. And I have extensions, and like I think people know I have extensions, but when people say, oh my god, I'm obsessed with your hair, or they, yeah, that always surprises me, because I think my hair is my, now it's not, but I think that prior to now, my hair was my weakest link. Mm. Okay. Like, it's the thing that I think I like, am, like, serving the least looks through. I totally agree with my, for me as well. Really? Yeah, I serve the, the least. least amount of looks with my natural hair. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, that, I don't even know the answer to this and I'm already laughing. Okay. A memory that will always make you laugh that only you guys went through. There are so many. Yeah, there's a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot. Oh my god, you swinging from the... <laughs> Wait, you what? Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, you... We were in Vermont. Oh my god. I was brunette and we went on a weekend trip to Vermont at my old Vermont house. Mm -hmm. And I unprovoked, stripped naked, and swung on a rope swing. Like full Tarzan. Full Tarzan. <laughs> into the water. Into the water. Yeah. And it was cold. That was funny. That was really funny. Yeah, it was like around like, this time of year. We have a lot of really silly memories together, and yeah. I feel like we have a lot of stuff we cannot share. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> but that Tarzan one is really funny. That is funny. Most embarrassing story of each other that you're willing to share. When I shat on the beach in Nantucket. <laughs> that's like not even embarrassing. Like, I feel like that's just no, like you bad. filmed it. <laughs> Instantaneous food poisoning when we were in Nantucket. You did. And we were on the beach on a moped. Or when you threw up on me. <laughs> I took a shot. And this is actually coming up at Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. At the bars in my hometown. Projectile vomited on Amanda. I was wearing a white Sherpa jacket. <laughs> and, and then, then we, we just <laughs> Continued on with the oh night. My God. It's like the last time I ever danced. <laughs> or drank. We like don't drink anymore. Exactly. Advice for someone who's been single for a while and is watching all of her friends get married and have kids. Mm -hmm. I think that obviously we've seen the data shows that divorce rates are higher than they've ever been. People are finding a really hard time finding people to commit to them. In general, like the age of marriage is being pushed back. Mm -hmm. I think for a lot of reasons. So many people are getting divorced that wait until you find your person like you don't need to rush into getting married i also think it's like with anything else in life like everyone is on their path at their own pace totally like, like don't no compare timeline. yourself yeah, yeah. you're not like it's not like a race like you're not competing against anyone you need to find your person and even if that takes into your 40s like 
Totally. Find your person. How do you manage to let go of grudges you may hold against those who have wronged you? <laughs> you don't. You <laughs> this is a really good question. This is a good question for you because I know that I'm you... I'm a grudge holder. You're just like... You're what? Sh you're so loyal. <laughs> it, what is it you have to say? <laughs> you're so loyal. Mm -hmm. And your circle is so tight that mm -hmm. I think that... If someone were to wrong you enough for you to actually have a problem, mm -hmm. it would be really hard to come back from that with us. Yeah. You know? Mm -hmm. I also feel like since we have, we we obviously have our friendship that's been our whole mm -hmm. lives. We have a lot of friends that are like hometown friends, long-term yeah. friends that our expectation for friendships are higher. Mm -hmm. Like I have such a high... I don't really have a lot of new friends. I have a lot of old right. friends. Right, but I think that's because you have such good friends. We don't really fight, though. No, we don't. Um, depends on what they did, right? Mm-hmm. Like, I've had people, I would say in the past year, let's just say, do things that were not cool and that made me feel shitty or whether it was them being a bad friend or not being a girl's girl. They weren't my people, so I just, like, let it go. I'm like, okay, that person's, like, shitty, but moving on. Like, mm -hmm. I have my girls, so I think that focusing on nurturing and maintaining your core group, because if they're your people, you're not going to hold a grudge. As I've gotten older, I held, hold less of a grudge. Like, I'm Because you're more understanding to too, forgive, probably. and I'm yeah. like, do I really want to, like, throw away this friendship over something so small? Right. Just because I'm, like, stubborn. I think also realizing that, like, we all have our flaws, like... Mm -hmm. We all can be annoying friends. We mm -hmm. all can be selfish. Like caring, I think, less and caring more about the important things and letting the, like, small things go. Oh. Resentment is like drinking poison and then hoping it will kill your enemy. Like, I always and feel it's better hurting when you. I'm at peace with everyone. 100%. Like, when I know I have, like, something going on with someone, like, I don't feel good no, inside. It's, you know, I feel like people who have, like, vendettas or hold on to grudges. Yeah, are the most, like, miserable people. Advice to find your people. We've been friends for so long because... We value simil similar things. Yeah. Like, when I think back at the friends that I let go, like, I just didn't feel comfortable around them, like... Right, it's like a comfort thing. Yeah, like, I've met some people in my life that I'm like, wow, you're so special, and I feel like I was able to meet them because I was myself around them. Yeah, being like, yourself. If you have, if people will only meet you where you're at, so if I show up, like, as 100% page, better chance of me finding, like, my people. Mm-hmm. But one person that in my adult life that some of you guys might know, her name is Shannon Ford. And I don't like, I don't honestly spend that much time with her just because we live in different places. But the times that I see her, it just feels like home. Mm -hmm. And she sent me this text. I can't find it. But she basically texted me after we hung out once. And she was like, being around you is like, makes me feel like I'm at home. Mm. And I feel like that is a really good description of like, when you find your people, like no matter where you are, you feel like you're at home. Yeah. You know, like whether it's a partner or whether it's a friend. Mm -hmm. What scent makes you feel nostalgic? Cedar, pine. Anything that smells like wood, like wood burning, like a cedar pine. Mm. Reminds me of Vermont and like ski lodges. It kind of makes me sad too. Nostalgia in general makes me like really, really sad. That's why I think I don't like watching movies very much, or like old movies that I used to love. It like creeps me out. I totally wasn't listening to anything. <laughs> I was saying I like don't really like nostalgia. Yeah, I know. I hate it because I get freaked out that like I'm not young anymore. And for me, it's not about age. I've like loved getting older. I'm not scared of aging. It's more like... Like I just miss like coming home from like seventh grade and like eating granola bar on the couch. <laughs> right? It is kind of sad. Like you're mourning like a part of your life that you'll like, yeah. never get back. Yeah. And then it reminds you of somewhere that like mm -hmm. you'll never really be again in that way. What's your goal in the next five years? To be a sleigh boss. A <laughs> slaying <laughs> boss. Mm -hmm. Amanda's going to start a jewelry company, start a YouTube channel. Paige is my life coach. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, there's not enough creators on YouTube. Yeah. And Amanda needs to do it. She's going to do it. I'm just scared. Oh No, I'm not scared. I just feel like I have nothing to talk about. But I, but it'll get better. I know. It'll get better, and I people like that. Like personally, for me, I like the chill vlogs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, same. Like people who are running around and traveling, and like, do, it's cool sometimes, but it's kind of exhausting. Mm -hmm. Like the people that that are, you know what I mean? Like 
-hmm. the busy busy videos like yeah. people like the chill at home relaxing cooking mm -hmm. chatting videos and for me i want to reach a lot of business goals and i want to do less social media stuff and more business oriented stuff still leaning into my video content because i really love video content maybe get back into like podcasting and like be married do you think you'll be married in five years how old will i be 30 20. yeah i better be <laughs> i better be <laughs> five years i'll be 30 oh my god yeah i'm crying <laughs> maybe i'll have a kid by then that would be oh my god that's crazy just because drew is a few years older Oh my god, when you have a kid, it's gonna be crazy. I know. Like, <laughs> that's so crazy. Like, another little Amanda? Do you think you're gonna have a kid before me? I don't know. Do we just have them at the, around same the same time. time? I agree. What's the best thing you learned so far in your 20s? Um, not to care what anyone thinks, honestly. So true. Like, the freedom of that. The freedom yeah. of... And that's not even online. Like, obviously, my job is public, so... Yeah, it's not really Don't care what online. people think. Yeah, no, it's so... I'm, like, we're not talking about online. online. Real life. Like, not caring about what people think yeah. or say. And also, like, I think deflecting people. Like, staying in your own lane and, like, allowing, like, other people's hard times and negative energy to not affect... Yeah. Your life. Totally. One word to describe each other. I would say you are very giving... Oh yeah. Aww. That's sweet. You're very loyal, but you're not one word. Like loving and loyal. I would say you're very loving too. What's something that people wouldn't expect about Paige? People Th think I'm really serious. Yeah, you're not serious. No. <laughs> no, we love the jokes. You're silly. Maybe they don't know that you're giving. Like you are super giving. Yeah. I guess like so I would never go online and be like I did this. I just, yeah, I, I just, just did, did this. this to them and yeah. that, yeah. I feel like some people think I'm cold. That's not like a general consensus, but my hairdresser, who I love dearly, um, does a lot of girls' hair who follow me. Mm. And they're always like, oh, like, is she actually nice? Is she, you know, whatever. And she's always like, yeah, she's just like, what, what you see on camera is also what's in person. Okay, bye guys. Signing off. <laughs> Signing off.